What's up, guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Keisha, and I'm here with Durante. And today is Vlogmas Day, Day 15. 15. Now, I know some of you guys are wondering, didn't you already post a video for Vlogmas Day 15? Yes, I did, but y'all about to get two videos back to back because we have been missing out um, some, on some videos from a couple days ago. So, we're just gonna go ahead and Drop as many videos as we can every single day. Hey, as you read by the title down below, you already know what's in store for this video. We are going to be showing you guys, well, Durante is going to be showing you guys how to make a paper snowflake at home. This is for people who cannot go out and go buy some decorations because look at this thing. All you got to do is tape it up on your wall. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay? And you guys can do this with any type of paper, um, any color paper. But, you know, right now we're just going to show you with this regular paper. This is regular, uh, like, wire rule, wire rule paper. notebook paper. Um, but I would recommend the, um, like, the computer printing paper because it's more firm and stable than this one. I mean, but this would do the trick. It's, it's still nice. It's okay. Do any color, anything you want, color it if you like. But we're just going to show you how to put it together. Well, Durante is going to show you because I don't know what I'm doing at all. So he's going to explain it to me as well as we go. So, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're going to grab a sheet of notebook paper. Okay. All right. Then we're going to take the bottom corner and we're going to fold that towards the top hole in the paper. Okay. Now, if you're using um, printer paper, you're just going to make a fold the same way but don't worry about the holes because you're not going to see it on the printer paper of course it's not going to go all the way to the top okay. but you just want to fold towards, towards that top, top. Hole. correct okay. it should look like boom boom yes that's correct so it should look like this all right so the next step is we're going to bring this corner back over to the other side so it should look like this when you're finished so let me go ahead and Can I do it before I crease yeah yeah okay make sure it matches make sure the fold matches the end of the paper so yes and then we're going to put our crease in there So you should have this right here. If you turn it over, it should look like that. Yes, that's right. Okay. It looks like a house. So we're going to start from the beginning once more. Okay. So first thing we're going to go over towards the top hole. Then we're going to take the bottom and flip it on up to the other side of the page. So you end up with this. Now on this step, you're gonna need scissors because you're gonna cut the tail of the paper off so that it's an even sheet. Mm -hmm. So at this time, we don't have scissors. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> hold on. Sorry guys, we didn't say the supplies that you're gonna need for this video. You're gonna need a stapler, some staples, some tape, and any type of scissors and of course your paper and some paper you also are going to need a ruler and or anything that has a straight edge on it and you're going to also need a pen because we're going to be um, marking from here we're going to cut the tail off and so we're going to go straight across And, there we go. and we're we're not gonna need this, so you can just discard this side because it's not gonna come into use anytime. Recycle, after. guys. Let's recycle. <laughs> All right. Good. So this is what you should have once you cut the tail off. Just a nice triangle shape. All right. So next, we are going to take our ruler or your straight edge, whatever you're using, and you're going to mark 
a nice line on there. Yeah, you can use, um, if you're using notebook paper, you see the red line on there? Let's see if I can get it closer. Okay, yes, this line, you can use this line as one of your cutting lines because we're going to have to cut on this. And then I'm also going to make one more about a couple inches. You're going to make one more line. This cutting from the red line. And we're just going to put it on our paper. And you're not going to make the line go all the way to the other end of the paper. Just almost there. Okay, so yeah. Towards the top. I'm just going to mark it. It should go from the closed end towards the open end of the paper because you're not going to um cut open. You're not going to cut it all the way across and you don't want it to be completely cut off when you go to cut. Like mine will be? So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to cut this thing now. Okay. Yes. So it should, you should start from the bottom end and come up closer. So you're going to start from this end and cut up. That's right. That's when you open it. All right, so let me just make sure you guys are able to see this. That one. Mm -hmm. Both are good. But anyway, you're gonna cut from the closed side to the open side, but you don't wanna cut all the way through. Please do not, please do not, because if you do, it's going to cut it off. It's going to cut it off and it's not going to work. So you're going to go from the open end over here. I mean, from the closed end, I'm sorry, to the open end. And the same thing with this. You should have this. It should be like, yes, three little flaps. You're going to have your inside one. Then you're going to have your second tier. And then you're going to have the one that's all the way at the top actually going to have you use your uh, tape. So we're going to take our inside cuts and then we're just going to fold them over our ends. So it starts here. You're going to fold them over. And then you're going to take a piece of tape. Still holding it. We're going to take our tape. And place a small piece of tape to hold it together. This time so that you can place your finger inside. You should be able to place your finger in. Now, our next step, you are going to take the second tier flaps but you're gonna fold them the opposite way. So we folded our insides going toward each other. We're gonna, as a matter of fact, you can flip your paper over and flip them the same way you did the middle flaps. So flip it over, flip it over. And then we're going to take these My new I think so. All right. So there we go. So you should have. It should look like this. 
All right, so now. Even though mine has a pen mark going down. <laughs> now we're going to flip it once more. Flip it back to the other side. Yep, so this, the small inner flap should be facing you now. And then we're going to take our last one and fold it just like we did the first two. All right. So our end result is this. This is our end result. And once you're done with the first piece, you are going to take that and move it to the side because you're going to need it later. We can take these and we need to make four more of these. So we can have six total. Oh, okay. We'll get back at you guys after we made four more of these ones, okay? So just repeat the same process four more times so you have six more pieces like Well, so. they'll need to do it five more times because oh, well, they didn't have them like two pieces. So five more times so you can have six pieces like so. See you when we get back. And we're back. Okay, so now that we have our pieces together already. Got all six. We're going to take. Taped and cut. We're going to look at this piece. So you're going to match one of the smaller pieces to the large piece of another one. So what I mean by that is this is the larger piece that we folded. And this is a smaller one. So we're going to take these and put them together. Like so, but we're going to close the tips and we're going to staple those together. Okay. So we're going to staple, staple from Dollar Tree. Y'all go those. for these staples. And you can add one more. So this is a That's smaller a small side, side. So we're going to put it towards the bigger <laughs> side. And then we're going to take that and match the tip as well. So we can go ahead and staple this together so it should look like this Ooh, that's three sides so now we're going to take the inside so we have the tail staple we're going to take the inside and staple the small and larger pieces in the middle should i go ahead and if staple this see. one so you see the pieces go like this. We're going to staple inside here. These two. Another one. All right. Okay. So, so this is one half of our snowflake. One half. So we're going to set that one down. And then I'm going to look at Keisha's because I don't know what she's doing and she doesn't either. So <laughs> we're going to look at that. Staple these. Just like we did the other half. Oh, wait. We do have to staple these. So this is one side done. This is the other side done. And we're going to staple up here. So you're just going to bring those together like you did with the ones on the halves. Right. Y'all hope this video isn't confusing. I hope it's not either, but I'm pretty sure. Tell me how your snowflakes turned out. Post them on Instagram and tag me at it's just kiwi. And let me know how your snowflakes turned out. Now we're going to staple the middle wait, down, down here. Middle. Oh, wait, yeah, so that they can see. We're going to staple yeah. the middle together. So we're going to take our two pieces and staple them together. All right. And then we're going to take the last, last two. two pieces and put them together. Oh, no. We did. And ta-da. It's complete. It's finished. So now we have two. All right, I hope you guys snowflakes turned out really, really well. We want to see them. So again, post them on Instagram, share them with Kishara so we can see them. I'll see them. And maybe we could do a video reacting to y'all snowflakes. So thank you guys 
Snow much for watching this video. Y'all see what I did? That was yeah. so lame. Yeah. Oh my god. No, it was lame. It was lame. Yeah. That, that was, was so nice. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell for more videos of me and my family. It's your girl, Key, and don't forget to follow me on my social media. It'll be at the end of the video and in the description down below. And like I said, tag me on Instagram so that I can see your snowflakes and we can react to them because I want to know if this how-to video was really beneficial to you guys. And if you guys enjoyed it, comment down below and let us know. Thank you, Durante, for explaining how to make a snowflake, for teaching me how to make a snowflake. This is good. This is fun. And that'll be it for this second video of Vlogmas Day 15, okay? See you guys in the next one. Bye.